Almost 50% of Canadians are having difficulties feeding their families amid 30-year high inflation rates, increasing interest rates, and almost no improvement in wages. The record high inflation rates have negatively impacted the cost of groceries, meaning families have to pay more than they can afford to feed. This is the chilling result of a recent survey carried out by the Angus Reid Institute, a national not-for-profit organization that carries out research and opinion polls on issues that matter to Canadians. The Institute's latest survey reflects just how much Canada's financial crisis has escalated. Add that to the baby formula shortage, high taxes, energy crisis, the housing crisis, and stagnant wages, and it becomes clear that the Justin Trudeau administration's performance is subpar at best. And the saddest part? There is no end in sight for the millions of Canadian families who have no idea where the next meal will come from. Welcome to Front Page News, a channel dedicated to bringing you the latest news updates without the abundant hypocrisy of the left wing and mainstream media. To support our channel and its content, please hit the like button, subscribe, and drop your comments in the comment section below. Please enjoy the video. The recent Angus Reid Institute research surveyed almost 2,000 Canadian adults. Of that figure, 49% said they are finding it difficult or very difficult to feed their families amid rising food prices. When the Institute last conducted a similar survey in March, only 36% of poll takers said they were having difficulties feeding their families. But since then, Food prices have continued to soar unbelievably. In March 2022, grocery prices soared by almost 9% compared to the same period in 2021. The annual inflation rate also rose to 6.7% in April, up from 5.7% in February. The increasing prices mean more and more Canadian families are having difficulties buying the same amount of groceries they bought a year or even a month before. Hit with high taxes, low incomes, and high food prices, Canadians are also showing increasing pessimism when it comes to their finances. According to the Angus Reid survey, 36% of Canadians are in a worse financial shape compared to 2021. Only 24% of respondents said their finances improved in 2022 compared to 2021. Another 39% said their finances did not worsen but did not improve either. NanoS Research, a Canadian public opinion and research company, also conducted a similar survey for Bloomberg News. The poll found that 41% of Canadians are in worse shape financially compared to the same period in 2021. While prices continue to skyrocket, changes in wages are almost insignificant. According to Bloomberg, the wages of average Canadians are only growing half the rate at which inflation is growing. The Canadian Centre for Policy Alternatives also recently reported that wages rose by 2.7% over the past two years. In contrast, inflation has grown by 3.4% annually, hoping to bring the record high inflation rates under control. The Bank of Canada has also announced higher interest rates. In March, the central bank raise lifted its benchmark interest rate by half a percentage point. The Apex Bank's reckless monetary policies of the past two years now mean Canadians have to find cheaper alternatives to their regular purchases or risk going hungry, destitute, and broken. That is why Pierre Poilievre, Conservative Party of Canada leadership candidate, has promised to fire BOC Governor Tiff Macklem if he is elected Prime Minister come 2025. Poilever also pointed out that Macklem has turned the BOC into an automated teller machine for the federal government. I would replace him with a new governor who would reinstate our low inflation mandate, protect the purchasing power of our dollar, and honor the working people who earn those dollars, Poilever declared. The Carleton MP pledged to ensure that those who caused the inflation crisis would be held accountable for their actions. Energy crisis, housing crisis, dehumanizing vaccine mandates, skyrocketing food prices, and record high inflation rates— what is next for the good people of Canada under the Justin Trudeau administration? The future has never looked so bleak for the average family. What are your thoughts on the worsening economy of Canada, and how do you think the federal government could have avoided this situation? Please drop your comments in the comment section below, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.